Welcome to part one of Clients First Business Solutions Microsoft Dynamics Now 2013 training on purchase order processing. Now 2013's purchase order management functionality enables your purchasing department to track all purchasing activities from the initial request for quote to receipt of the goods and ultimately to the payment of the invoice. Part one will cover an overview of the role center how to review upcoming requirements, creating a purchase quote, and converting that quote into an order. Let's get started. I have opened NAV 2013 to the Purchasing Agent Role Center. The standard navigation pane is available on the far left, but you will notice that my important purchasing activities have been organized into stacks to enable me to quickly access and manage everything. We'll take a look. For example, here we can drill down and see orders waiting to be sent. The Role Center also gives me the capability to display lists specific to the work I am performing. For example, to the right you will see a list of the vendors that I normally deal with, as well as a list of the items that I am responsible for managing. If you look under My Items, you will notice that we are out of stock on the Innsbruck Storage Unit. Let's drill down to review upcoming requirements. Take note that we already have six on order, but we will need seven to fill out standing sales orders, so we do need to place a new order. I'd like to have some extra storage units for stock, so we'll need to place an order for 10 units. But first, let's take a look at the purchase prices. A quick check of purchase prices shows me that I do not have set pricing in place for this item, so for the next section we'll demonstrate how to send a request for quote to my vendor. You are now looking at the purchase quote form which will allow us to enter quotes for vendors. The first field is the quote number, which is typically auto-generated from a predefined number series. Just click on the next field to enter the vendor and you'll see that the quote number has been populated for us. We can enter the vendor number or select them from our list. Once you've selected the vendor and left the field, you can see that the required information from our vendor has been populated in our purchase quote. Now let's enter our item. We can enter the item or select it from the list. Next, we'll enter the desired order quantity of 10. I want to get new pricing from my vendor, so I've deleted the direct unit cost that came in from my last purchase. I would like to add a note to the vendor to quote quantity price breaks if applicable. To do this, we will click on a blank line and change the type to blank and type our note in the description field. We are now ready to send the request for quote to our vendor. When we receive the pricing back from the vendor, we can enter our new vendor pricing. When we are ready to place the order, we simply click the Make Order button. This concludes Part 1 of the NAV 2013 Purchase Order Processing Demo. To see how to create a purchase order without entering a quote, and how to post receipts, we recommend watching Part 2 of the Purchase Order Processing Demo.